Okay, if you have just completed the Qantas one, you'll find that the China Cargo Airlines is a little bit more involved in that we need to make a few changes. So let's put in the flight number, CKK63. Departure date, again, I'm getting it from here. So the 2nd of January, 13. Departure day equals the date. And the arrival date is the departure date plus the flight duration. And in this case, it's two do's and we'll absolute that one. Get rid of the D, the wording. And then the arrival day equals the arrival date. Now, the question is the first flight departs, uh, sorry, flights depart on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we've got our Wednesday fright flight. And I'm just going to drag that down. And we know that the next flight needs to depart on Thursday, which is a day after the first flight. And you'll notice that becomes Thursday. Then there's a Friday flight, which is going to be a day after the Thursday flight. And then the next flight is on a Monday, which is going to be previous flight plus Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days gives us Monday. And we need to repeat the pattern in a whole. So go back. Plus to get the Wednesday is two. And just to confirm it equals that one plus one. So looking here, we've got Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. That becomes, now we can just drag these two down because they're, and then that one as well, down there. Now noting that we don't have a formula in that one, so we don't want the first sheet, but that Thursday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, that's the pattern. So you're not dragging down one single row, you're dragging down that block of four rows. And if you drag it down, what you'll find is it repeats, but if you look at column D, there should only be those days, as we'd mentioned before, so ooh, far too many. Oops. And that's it there. So make sure they're the only days that are available in there. And you've got your China one. The other ones are more straightforward.